Hi everyone, welcome. If you want to get set up before we get started for this super pretty peaceful painting here, we're going to need a lot of white, a lot of white paint, a little smidgy smooch of black, and a little bit of our primary colors today. <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing well this Thursday afternoon. It's looking pretty nice outside. I'm happy to report that I had to uh, move into my office at work to do this because of construction going on in my home, which is really loud and bangy. <laughs> so, um, and I also don't want dust to like fall on the painting as we do it. So I'm, I'm in the office and I have these big, big windows and it looks really beautiful outside. I hope you guys are enjoying the day. Hi, Stacy. And I'm excited to do this, this fun little, it's, it's actually pretty more than fun. Um, it's very pastel-y. Um, I found this painting by following um, a woman named Emily Mackey. I follow her on Emily Mackey Art on Instagram, and I just discovered her because of um, being at home in, in quarantine. And she paints these really pretty, pretty pastel y um, clouds and water scenes. And I wanted to try out the way she does water because it's super pretty. Um, and then when we add those little white sparkles at the end, it's it's like my favorite part. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, again, if you want to gather all your stuff, we have lots of white happening here. Smidgy smooch of black, that's more than I probably will need. And then a little bit of our primary colors. I'm using my big um, angled brush here and I might move on to a smaller angled one. I don't, I'm not sure yet. Um, for my original here in the sketch, I used a, a smaller, I think a really small brush for these waves. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. So, oh, and um, so I'm super happy to be back at Jana Marie uh, for another month, especially that month, uh, the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So absolutely, I'm super happy to, to continue doing this and all the important work they do there, especially it's um, being appropriate for mental health awareness. And um, I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, you're not alone out there if you've been struggling, believe me. <laughs> so I hope that you um, take joy in creating some art with me together. It always, it always makes me happy when I'm um, sharing art with you guys. So I think we're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna put this over here so I can see it. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna start with my big brush and let's just, we can cover the whole thing if we want. Um, yeah, let's just cover the whole thing in white. Let's cover it in white and let's not be shy either because we are gonna blend these colors so much. Very, very little color is going to be required. get myself organized here. Um, by the way, if you guys, if you guys buy this paint, this is the paint that I use um, because they have huge bottles. Um, it's like the cheapest paint you can get. Um, but they've been, they've been selling them now with these pumps. And just my personal opinion, you don't need the pump. Um, I cleaned it up, but I shot white paint across my office and it hit the wall and also a painting. Um, so I'm a little upset about it, but yeah. Uh, take a tip from me, you don't need this pump. Um, it's like, ooh, free pump included. Don't, just don't, you don't need it. If you have old caps from old bottles, just use those. So in other words, just be careful with these. These just, they spray and shoot everywhere. You have to keep that nozzle clean if you're gonna use them. Anywho, that's enough talking. 
Welcome, welcome if you're just joining us. Right now we're just covering, we're gonna cover this whole canvas in white paint here. And we're not being shy because we want to be able to blend our colors. You can, you can go all the way down. We can cover this whole thing. I'm more concerned at keeping um, the the top part wet because we want to we want to be able to blend up there. And sometimes you have to hold up your canvas into the light a little bit. Um, to see if you've missed any spots. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over this again. All right. This is kind of fun because usually um, I, uh, I paint on a canvas first but since I've started using a sketchbook, um, it's, I get kind of nervous because this is literally the first time I've painted it on canvas. So I am learning along with you guys. All right. So we've got a nice coat of white paint on our canvas. Make sure we're all in, in view here. Um, and for our first color, we're gonna get some blue, okay? And really super super smidgy smooch we do not need a lot okay this is like a thousand percent more blue paint than we need on my plate right now um, we can always add more it's harder to take it away so i'm just gonna start with the smidgiest of smooches and blend that back and forth and pull it down and back and forth and up. And that is very, very light. And that's fine because I can always go back in and add another smidgy smooch. Welcome, welcome for those of you who are just joining us. I hope you've got all your stuff set up. Maybe a nice beverage or snack. So back and forth and up and down is the name of the game. And how far do we go? Let's see, I'm going maybe about a little less than a third if I'm following kind of the beginning, uh, the first painting here, okay? I got a lot of excess paint. I'm just gonna wipe that off on the canvas itself. All right, now I've got a lot of um, paint buildup on my brush, okay? I wanna get rid of that by wiping it on some paper towel. So I'm just gonna get all of that off. I'm just gonna be moving around white paint. All right, and I'm gonna go in and I want a little bit more blue, so comparing my sketch to the canvas, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more blue. Oh, I can do more than that. Yeah, let's do a little bit more than that. So back and forth, up and down. All right. Feeling pretty good about that. Now, the key thing here is we really want um, the bottom part of our blue fade to really, really fade into white because our next color is going to be yellow, and we don't want to we don't want to turn green um, in our sky. Okay, at least not a not a dark green anyway. All right. How we doing? I can't, I seriously can't wait to see um, 
pictures of you guys' paintings because these are going to be so beautiful. All right, so we're going to go into a new color. We're going into yellow next. I want to make sure that my brush is nice and clean. I'm going to wipe off any excess paint that I got off my bristles here. And I'm going to give my brush a good clean rinse. And I have a new plastic cup today and a new paper plate for my paint. I feel like a brand new person. <laughs> it's the little things that, yeah, my other plate got a little bit too heavy with dry um, acrylic. Um, if you follow me on my, on my Facebook page, Paint with Jackie, you might have noticed um, a little video tip that if you leave your brushes out before washing them, which I did the other day, um, if you leave them with acrylic on it, the acrylic will just get really hard and turn into plastic. But if you have little alcohol wipes, they will take them off, no problem. And added tip, because I learned this last night, um, because it works on brushes, it'll work on human hair. Because um, <laughs> if you're like me, when you paint, you get paint everywhere, and I had smeared a nice long strand of white paint in my hair and a little alcohol pad just took care of it no problem all right so i've got my clean brush and i'm gonna go into actually i'm checking and i want to make sure this white paint is nice and wet and ready to take the yellow and i think i got a little bit dry i mean it's kind of tacky but I just want to make sure that I've got some good blendy blends ready for me. So I'm just, to be safe, I'm going to go in with some more white. Going in with some more white. So if you are painting on canvas with acrylic, my guess is that you might be in the same boat. You might need to go back unless um, you're one of those folks who just goes like all out. One of those those artists who their paintings take like 24 hours to dry or more oh man i miss you guys so much at the arena i know there's always some people painting with me at the arena when i do cheers to art there where i could just see them from across the restaurant like yep you're gonna you're gonna want to sit with that carefully in your car on the way home all right so i've just refreshed my white down there so i should be ready for some yellow. Now, we don't we don't want to mix the the yellow and the blue. They're just barely going to touch each other and they're kind of going to be separated by white. Okay? So to be safe, I'm going to start a bit below the blue. Smidgey smooch of yellow. Smidgey smooch. So, I'm going to start below the blue just to be safe so I don't go green accidentally and then just barely get up there into the blue. Yeah, like that. And I'll bring down a little more smidgey smoochy yellow and carefully work my way up, but not touching that blue directly. Just kind of working into that white paint. And yeah, I think we Got a nice blend happening there. And then I'm gonna jump right into a smidgy smooch of red. Little smidgy smooch, I'm gonna start blending in down there. And that red is gonna end on our horizon line, our water line. So I'm not washing my brush. I still have the yellow on there and some white. Gonna tap into a smidgy smooch. This is like so much more red than we need in my plate anyway. Um, smidgy smooch of red. And let's start in that yellow area at the bottom. And then go up, back and forth, and down. Back and forth and up and down. That's the name of the game. And you can have more peachy orange happening if you want to mix the yellow and red together more. You can bring down your red deeper and darker. Totally up to you. Let me get, ooh, falling down here. Let me 
make sure I'm in the frame. My little setup here. Hold on. Oh, watch out. Okay. So make sure. There we go. All right. I think I want to darken that red up. And now I want to think about my um, horizon line. So I'm going to really focus on that, that straight line now. And that's going to be where my ocean is. Super soft, super pretty. Am I, am I going up in the air a little bit? That's eh, whatever. Um, so yeah, ideally this would be a nice flat line. I don't know if I might be a little crooked, but that is fine. That's basically it for our sky. Yeah. So yeah, I'm liking it on the canvas. It's super. It's much more blendy much more blendy on the canvas. Um, when you're painting on uh, sketch paper like this, um, I mean, it's, it's actually watercolor, right? Yeah, it's for watercolor. So it's really sucking up all the moisture out of the paint. And it doesn't, I don't get that white paint to stay wet for me for very long. So that's why it's very bright here. So um, I was more conservative on the canvas and it's more pastel-y and blendy. Um, yeah. How are we doing? This is a really uh, simple yet pretty, pretty sky, right? It's really simple. It's white. It's our primary colors. We get our blend on and we're good to go. All right. So now how about this water? Isn't this water so cool? I mean, Props to um, Emily Mackey, who's that artist that I follow on Instagram. She is so good at doing water with acrylics and oils. Um, so we're going to do this step by step. And like many, many kinds of things that we paint together, um, this is going to be one of those ones where while you're painting it, you're going to hate it and you're going to think this is so bad, like this does not look like water. Um, but I promise you, it will look like water. We're gonna take you through step by step. And this is definitely one where you gotta sleep on it, look at it the next day, and it's gonna, you're gonna like it much more. And taking a picture of it, you'll, you'll kind of see it uh, as a whole instead of all the little things that you don't like about it. All right, so for the water, we're going to mix a base coat. I do, I do use tape in my sketchbook. Um, I use painter's tape. So that blue, that blue painter's tape, I love it. It's like so satisfying to tape it off and then to peel it off afterwards. I love it so much. I totally recommend it. Um, so yeah. And what's great about the tape is you can, you know, you can do whatever size you want. You can do a couple of paintings on one page. You can do paintings on a full page. Yeah. Totally recommend painter's tape. Um, uh, but just know that when you are doing that in a sketchbook, you probably will rip up paper. Um, so just be careful when you peel it off. All right. So back to, so thanks for your question, Cameron. Um, back to the water. We're going to mix a base color and this base color is, believe it or not, it's kind of a light gray green is the best way I can kind of explain it. It's like a light gray sea green. Okay. So what do we need? Well, we need a lot of white. Okay. Um, let's see, do I have red in my brush? Um, we, we do have red in our brush. So let's, let's kind of get the red out. Cause if we have red in there and we make green, our, our gray is going to look kind of like Brown. So let's, let's clean our brush. Let's 
let's clean our brush. All right, so we're gonna make a gray green. Lots of white. We want this to be very, very light. Okay, I'm gonna grab a smidgy smooch of blue. Smidgy smooch of yellow. And the smidgiest of smooches of black. That might have been more. <laughs> so why gray and why, why green? Well, in the reflection, we're kind of grabbing a mixture of this part of the sky. So if we mix blue and yellow sky together, we're going to get a little bit of green. And that's going to help us get like a C effect. All right, so I'm working with something like that. Okay, I know it seems really weird, but this is our base coat for our water. And I'm just going to fill in the whole thing with this. Okay. Oh yeah, that's kind of like exactly what I want. So pat myself on the back. These are super, super pastel colors. I'm, we're, not, we're not used to painting like this, at least with you guys. I, we haven't really done really, really pastel-y stuff. We're used to kind of bold colors, more bold colors, I guess. All right, so I wanna make sure I get right up into that horizon line. So speaking of tape, Cameron, if you, if you really want it to be precise, um, I might tape off my horizon line. Um, but I will admit I, I have been burned <laughs> by using tape on canvas because canvas is so textured. Um, all those little ridges, the tape does not do the best job of blocking off canvas because all of all those little nooks and crannies. Um, so I, I don't really tape on canvas because I've been burned before and I've given up. All right, I think I might need to make a little bit more of this. I'm gonna try to work as much as I can out of this brush. All right, so yeah, I gotta make some more of this color. So I'm gonna pull out some white. Smidgy smooch blue, smidgy smooch yellow, smidgy smooch black. A little too much black. Grab some white. And if it's not perfectly matched, then that's fine with me. This is just our little base color. All right, so once we have our base, we can let that dry. It won't have to be perfectly bone dry. Just a little bit tacky. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to be done with this and see this. All right, so we don't have to have big old glops of paint on here. If you have a lot of paint down here, you can kind of spread it around. That'll help it dry. All right, so for our next step, we do want a nice clean brush. So I'm gonna wipe off excess paint. I'm gonna wipe that off on my brush, and then I'm gonna give this brush a nice good clean rinse. little drink break for me some water I hope everybody's staying nice and hydrated I don't know about you but I've just been not good at, at staying hydrated lately <sighs> I'm a creature of habit and routine so it's been it's been uh, uh, a challenge to to keep at those healthy habits that that keep us you know happy and healthy so drinking water 
getting exercise. I hope everybody's able to continue to do those things. Thank you, Dee. And um, coffee. I'm drinking coffee. Um, apparently, you shouldn't drink too much coffee, but lately, I've enjoyed my coffee. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay. Um, so, still want to let that dry a bit. Let me tell you about, um, if, I, if I may, take advantage of this um, opportunity to tell you that if you need a plan for Mother's Day, um, I'm doing a fundraiser with uh, Friends of Golden Pond. If you don't know, Golden Pond is a camp, um, and I believe they're open year-round. They have all sorts of activities, if I'm, if I'm correct. And I've, I've worked with them before doing paint events. And we had this Mother's Day paint, tea and paint planned. We had it planned way back in February. And of course, we can't be together for that one. But I will be on their Facebook page. Um, so that is Friends of Golden Pond, their Facebook page. I'll be doing a live video just like this. And um, this was, this was um, done back in February this really cute um, teacup uh, for a mother-daughter, maybe Mother's Day celebration. Um, so that's Mother's Day, which is this Sunday at 2.30. And they just ask that if you could provide, um, give them a $10 donation. That's sort of the suggested donation. And you could easily find their um, website if you Google Friends of Golden Pond. Yes, 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 yeah, a Girl Scout camp, right? Yeah. Um, so I've, I've been to the camp once to do a paint event and it's, it's gorgeous out there. Um, so yeah, I wanted to be able to continue to support them. So yeah, this would be a really fun one for young kiddos and, and mom together. Um, you can kind of design your own little teacup. I did white with black polka dots. Um, you can design any flower you want. Um, I love a good bumblebee and a good ladybug, so... You can have fun there. Um, so yeah, if you if you need something to do on Mother's Day, two thirty, make some tea, bake some cookies, um, and have a fun little afternoon together. So thank you for um, letting me have that spiel. And back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> um, let's see. Not quite. I'm not quite at the scratch test. It's not bone dry, um, but that's that's okay. Um, I can still chatter on for, for a minute. Um, so we've got our base color and we're gonna do several steps to make this water um, really come together and come alive. Our first step is to take out the colorful reflections of yellows and pinks. And I don't know if I can hold this up. Um, so I've got some pinks getting picked up way back in the distance. And then as we get closer and closer, we can see those yellows. So that's, that's gonna be our first step, to pick out those pinks and yellows. Um, Donna's asking what I do with the sides of the canvas. Some people um, choose to paint the sides. I, I never do um, for two reasons. One reason is because when I'm teaching, I'm usually holding this thing. Um, and second, I just, I like the rough edge, um, but a lot, I know a lot of people um, will continue the sort of, you know, the base color down here, a little pink here, yellow and blue. Um, that's totally your choice. Um, but again, I'm usually holding my canvas when I teach, so I don't paint it because I'd just be painting my hands. And, um, but I also, I also just kind of like the rough, the rough look. Um, that's my, that's my personal thing. But yeah, good question, Donna. A lot of people ask, you know, what do I do with the sides? Totally up to you. Okay, let's do this. So um, we're gonna start with that pink color that's way back on the horizon line, okay? So all I'm gonna do is mix that, that pink color, right? So take some white, smidgiest of smooches of red, Sure thing, Donna. And I'm not making enough paint for myself. I'm gonna just give myself a little bit more to work with. So grabbing that red, making that pink, 
that might be a little little dark I don't know that might be it all right so now with that pink all of those ripples way back in the distance are picking up on that pink okay and those ripples because they're so far away are going to be really small and thin okay as opposed to like these big dark blue ripples right so I'm just going to take my my brush and I've got an angle brush so my my job is going to be easy and I'm just going to press the bristles perpendicular right under that horizon line and I'm just going to start pulling little short lines and I need more I need more I need more pink because that canvas just sucked it right up all right maybe you can see this um, I don't know if you can see it, actually. Let's see. It's gonna highlight those. Yeah, there we go. So all those little ripples are picking up that pink. All right. Next color that's picked up is a little little bit of this peachy so I can just take that pink and add a little smidgy of yellow now I've got this peachy color that we can start picking up and these these are getting closer to us so these might be starting to get just a little bit bigger oh I like that color better so these are getting bigger and thicker. Okay. Remember, it's going to feel weird in the beginning. It's going to be like, this doesn't look like water. What's happening? Um, I promise you when we go through all the steps. Um, and then our last color that we're going to pick up on, well, for now, is um, the yellow, the pale yellow. So I'm just going to go, I just wiped off um, my excess paint on a paper towel. I'm going to grab some white, smidgy of yellow. And again, these are really pastel, right? We want that white paint to help us get a pastel feeling to it. And now I've got the yellow. Again, the yellow is going to be closer to us, so if we've got bigger bigger lines, thicker, thicker. Oh no, I got into some black. Ooh, I'm so glad that I saw that before I put it on the canvas. That has happened to me before. I don't notice that I get a color on my brush and it's like, ah, no. All right, so let's start again. Some white smidge of yellow. All right, and let's get some more of those yellow highlights out there. Oh yeah. Cool. So now we got something like that. Okay. Now our next trick is going to be picking up some of that light blue, okay? So the, the ocean is going to pick up some of that light blue as well. So I'm wiping off the excess paint. And wiping, cleaning my brush. Want a nice clean brush for this light blue. in my plate, grabbing some white, smidgy smooch blue, got a nice pale, pale blue, 
And if we're looking at the sketch, um, I want these pale blues to kind of um, come in from the sides and hang out in the in the front. Okay, so I'm imagining that this sun, this um, sunlight is really strong down the middle, and so more of the blue gets to creep in along along the sides. And by the way, if you can't see in the sketch, we are going to add a sun. Just a little sun right there. Okay. Let's do this light blue. Let's see what we got. I'm going to pull in some... Ooh, that is a lot lighter than I thought it was. All right. I'm going to... Okay, so that came out lighter than I wanted. Um, I'm going to add more blue. So I'm looking, looking for a light blue more like that like this blue right here above my finger. All right, so I'm gonna work on that. Let's see if I, this is what I want. Oh yeah, that's better. So I'm just adding those little blues. I'm gonna kind of creep them in from the side. Like that. And don't, don't, think too hard. Um, these lines are not perfect, right? Waves are just, waves and water do really cool things. It's not, they're not perfectly straight lines. All right. How are we doing? Doesn't look like anything yet, right? It doesn't look terrible at this point, but it doesn't look like this yet. Um, so our next trick, and this is where everything really, really starts to come together, is we're going to be adding these darker peaks and waves. Okay. Now, for that color, we're going to be working on, um, it's, it's a dark blue, but it does have white in it. Okay. Um, so the, the dark comes from, awesome, Kellen, good job. Um, the, the dark of those waves comes from a smidgy smooch of black, okay? But I do start with the, the white that's in my brush already. All right. So actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this um, area to start my mixing that um, base color. So let's see. I'm going to grab some blue, smudge that around, grab a smidgy smooch of black. That's still really bright. I'm going to grab more black and even a little smidgy of red is going to help us. But I'm, I know for a fact we're, we're going to want to be way, way darker than that. I'm going to grab some more blue. And grab a little bit more red. Sometimes red just is a, is a great way to darken something. Smidgy more black. We're, I think we might almost be there. So really just play around. Maybe you want purple waves, you know? I think we're almost there. Let me test, do a little tester on a piece of paper here. It's gotta be a piece of paper here somewhere in this office. <laughs> All right, so if I put a little piece of paper on my sketch, that's almost there. Um, I can tell that this color is a bit more green than, than the one here. So I'm going to add just a little bit more red, but then I think I might be there. Um, and I could, I could certainly use the color I have, um, but I kind of like, as a challenge for myself, I like to try to color match. Color matching is really fun and also very stressful. <laughs> but I think I'm almost there. Um, the other thing is, 
you can mix something in your paper plate and it looks totally different when you put it on the canvas. So I might change my mind just like I did earlier with that light blue. All right, folks, here's where I promise you it's going to be stressful, but I, it's going to be fine. Okay. So I'm going to start with these peaks that are closest to us. They are right basically in front of us in this painting. So they are going to be our biggest peaks. I've got this, this guy over here, this long guy coming over here. All right. And the idea is, um, these long flat peaks and kind of think of it as it's not a perfect zipper, but they're not, they're not all lined up perfectly. Right? So, Instead of the them being like this, we can kind of think of them kind of interlocking. But even interlocking like a zipper is just too perfect. Waves waves don't interlock perfectly like a like a zipper. But that's kind of that's kind of the idea. So let's hold this up as a guide, and I'm gonna start. Um, let's start with something easy. This little guy on the left, he's just he's not even in the whole shot. Let's just bring him in. So he's just a little guy hanging out. Um, I'm going to put his friend over here. Again, also not, not fully debuted on the canvas. And then we've got this long, this long one coming in with a little peak on the right, but he goes like almost all the way over. So I'm going to get some more of my color here. I'm going to start here on the lower left and I'm going to pull out the base of that wave and its peak is somewhere over here. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Don't be shy, just have fun. Don't, don't think too hard. Don't fuss too much. All right. I know for sure I'm going to have to make some more paint. So I'm going to get on that. Grab some of that blue, some red, some black, some white. And that's a lot of paint on that brush. Sometimes when we have a lot of paint on our brush, it's not going to give us a fine line. So I'm just going to take care of business right now and get, get that excess off so I can get a nice clean edge. All right. And these don't have to be perfect um, triangles, right? They don't have to be perfect little triangles. They can have little squiggles and imperfections. All right, now, name of the game. The big ones are closest to us. As we're getting farther and farther back into that horizon line, we're gonna start shrinking the sizes of our little ripples and peaks, right? Okay, so just keep that in mind. Can I put that here or is that gonna slide? Okay, I'm gonna put that there so I can easily reference my sketch. And I'm gonna put this guy over here. This little, I'm working on this one right here. Put that little peak right about there. And then I get this long flat one right over here. Something up and then over here. Again, we're getting smaller as we go back. I'm going to work on this one right here.
Hey, Marissa. All right. Something like this. water break all right and as I'm going back I'm just getting smaller and smaller flatter and flatter maybe some little waves are coming in from the sides right don't forget those because these little ripples just go on forever. I'm going to need to make some more of that color. Right. How we doing? This is definitely super relaxing for me. I hope it is for you. Very kind of zen right now. I hope this is a peaceful peaceful painting for you. And I and I know don't feel bad if it doesn't feel peaceful. Believe me, cuz this is this is a this is a challenging little one. Okay? Just remember that we're getting smaller and flatter as we go back. Right. Some more paint made. I'm just working on these little ones. And by the time I get into the background, they're just like little wispy lines. up here and there go something like that all right now there's gonna be a couple of things that I want to do um, when we reach this point because um, I like I like a lot of the yellow that's happening in the sketch and I want to I want to bring some more of that yellow but let before I get ahead of myself um, now what I want to do is so here here's the deal these these little peaks if you can imagine, those little peaks are kind of like little mountains of water, right? Okay, so those little mountains of water would have shadows and reflections of their own, right? Okay, so for that, I just want to make sure that each of my, um, at least your mountains, they might have um, a little extra blue at their base. Um, a little, little, you know, touches of, of color. So I'm going to lighten and brighten that color. Let's 
something like that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna touch the bottom of the, the closer ones with this brighter and lighter color just to help connect it more with the water. And even if you just have a little few wispies here and there, so something like that. Can kind of fill in fill in kind of the gaps if you find like you have a lot of of the, the base color shining through you can use this lighter brighter color to kind of fill in some of those gaps all right so then for me I want, I want some more of this yellow. That's just my personal preference. So right now I'm going to, ooh, I got a lot of that excess paint on there. Wipe that excess paint off. I want a nice clean brush for more of this yellow. For any of you folks who are um, joining us for the first time today, um, this is part of a Jana Marie Foundation wellness break. I've been happy to do these, these Thursday paints um, for several weeks now. Uh, it's such an honor to do it, especially in the month of May for mental health awareness. So thank you guys for joining in. If you know someone who would love to paint this, but they couldn't make it because of the time, this video automatically saves to the Jana Marie Foundation uh, Facebook page. So all the videos that they do that are live automatically get saved there. And also, in addition, I've been downloading them and uploading them to my YouTube uh, playlist. So I have a, a YouTube channel and I have a playlist where I've just been putting all of these videos. So I can um, post that um, here if, if I remember because <laughs> um, I upload these later on in the day. Uh, but I'll definitely have it over in my, my personal Facebook page, Paint with Jackie. So um, if you know someone who wants to paint it later or you want to paint it later, you can find it somewhere. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, it'll either be here on the Jana Marie Foundation page or on my uh, YouTube playlist. All right, so I've got my, my clean brush. I want to I wanna add some more of these yellows because I, I like the, the look of that in the sketchbook. So I'm going to grab some yellow and some white and I'm just gonna hit some of these areas that I want more yellow oh yeah I like that I like that shiny shiny little bit yeah I like that all right I feel better about that okay cool now um, I'm gonna wipe that off we're gonna go into some white. We're really gonna heavily feature um, the white down in the center, right? Because that's where the, the sun is up here and the the sparkles and shining is coming. Oh, why am I why is my battery running low? I'm plugged in. Oh no, I'm not plugged in. <laughs> Let me fix that. Ooh. There we go. Are we juiced now? Um, hope so. Hope we got juice now. All right, um, what was I saying? So yeah, we're doing these sparkles down in the center. So we're gonna sparkle in two ways. We're gonna do wispy lines and then we're gonna do um, stippling um, with, um, oh, I should have brought a, a pointy brush, but I'll use, I'll use a smaller brush for that part. Okay, so. I'm taking some just straight up white paint and I'm going to focus in the center where I'm going to want my sun to be. So small in the back and getting bigger and longer as we come forward. And 
in a moment, this painting is going to come alive with those sparkles. So not only are we focusing that shimmer down the center, but we want them to get wider uh, as we come forward. get this out of the way so you can do your Sun well let's do the Sun very last let's do these our little sparkles so with a small brush I'm gonna use the corner of my angled brush with a small brush we're gonna stipple some sparkles on the edges of our peaks right so these little water mountains are picking up little sparkles on the silhouette on their so on their sides on their edges right so let's add some of that sparkle I don't have a round small brush with me but I do have a corner of an angled brush so I'm gonna add sparkles to the edges of my mountain peaks here my water mountains right and again they we have smaller ones back there and as we get closer they get um, wider and wider the the spread of them that is right and little sparkles over here and sparkles over here on this one sparkles on that one and this one Sparkle, sparkle. There we go, like that. And then for our finale. We get to put in a little sun. Mine is hanging out in the, the brightest part, the yellow part. And I think I'm just gonna stamp with the back end of my brush and just draw a circle on my sun. Once we've got our sun in, we are done. I think if I'm looking at my canvas versus the sketch, I think I want a bit more density in my waves. So in other words, I'm looking kind of sparse back here, but as we're, as we're getting farther and farther away, they're getting smaller and thinner, but they're getting more densely packed. So I think that's what's bothering my eye right now. So whoop, whoop, throw a brush around. What I'm gonna do is go back into this color and it is a little watery, but that, that should be fine. I'm just gonna add a little bit more density with these little waves back here. Do it for me. Yeah, something like that. All righty, folks. I believe that is all she wrote today. Okay?
Thanks for sticking around for this one. This was a super challenging one, right? But not too shabby. And I promise you, um, you'll feel better about it tomorrow, okay? Even I um, feeling like, oh, there's things I should probably fix. But tomorrow I know it's gonna, it's gonna feel better and look better, right? But if you're, um, if you're looking at it and you're hating it, Remember, we want those those peaks that are closer to us to be bigger and longer and we get closer and closer together as we get far away. They get smaller and smaller and thinner. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for our, our water scene. Oh, it's starting to come together for me. It's kind of like those magic eyes. Like you have to give it a minute to let your eyes find what you're looking at. Um, yeah. So it's kind of let your let your eye, uh, let your brain. It's the the magic trick is in your brain because right now you're like all I see is smears and streaks, um, but your brain is gonna do the magic for you. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today um, at the Jana Marie Foundation Wellness Break, and a reminder if you need something to do on Mother's Day, I'll be over at the Friends of Golden Pond Facebook page. For this really cute teacup and flower you can have whatever design on your teacup do whatever flower you like uh, that's this sunday for mother's day 2 30. make some tea get some cookies and we'll we'll have a nice fun little mother's day and they just ask if you can the suggested donation is ten dollars and you can find their facebook uh their website super easily if you google friends of golden pond um it's probably friendsofgoldenpond.org and you can make their donation there. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you were here. Um, so I hope everybody is well and have a great day. I hope this was nice and relaxing. I feel super relaxed. Um, these colors I think are just super zen. So take care, have a great day, and I'll see you on Mother's Day at Friends of Golden Pond. If not, I'll see you when I see you. This is Jackie from Paint with Jackie, and I'll see you next time.